Aloha, good morning. Today I want to address some of the most common faults in plank pose and how to correct them so you can create a stronger, safer, more effective plank. So check it out. High plank, top of the push-up. Proper form, shoulders over wrists. Actively grip with the hands, push through the knuckle pads. Hips in line with the body. Flex the quadriceps. Tuck the belly in. So we want to go for a hollow body position. That means the bottom ribs are pulling in and the frontal hips are drawing in towards the body. Nice and hollow, pushing the ground away, press up through the shoulder. Someone first building core strength might fall into this position with the hips dropping, the abs basically relaxed and dropping towards the ground. So what happens here is we end up working with the low back, straining the low back, and the abs are not turned on at all. So starting from a knees position, working on the hollow body, keeping a hollow body, frontal hips in, bottom ribs in, tuck the toes, lift the knees, maintain that hollow body. Second biggest fault I see is improper head position and the head, the chin jutting forward and the head dropping towards the ground. So that would look more like this. Maybe the, maybe the body's okay and then the head's sinking down and the chin juts forward. So you want to think about your, your head, your neck, and your cervical spine in the same way you think about the abs working and pulling in to support the low back. We want to think about the front of the neck, deep neck flexor muscles working to support the cervical spine. So instead of the head jutting forward, this applies to any posture or any exercise. Pull the chin back like you're making a double chin. In an upright position, chin pulls back, crown of the head extends upward. And I can feel these deep neck flexor muscles working to support the cervical spine. So now we turn it with a little more gravity. This way, same action of the chin pulling back and the crown of the head extending forward. Actively push and then we want to screw the hands into the ground. So it's like the action of turning the fingers outward without actually moving the fingers. And we're rotating the triceps back to face the feet. So the eyes of the elbows face forward. Boom, screw that in, lock it up, press up through the shoulders, hollow body position. Fire up the quads. Feels like you're trying to tuck the tailbone. So tailbone links towards the heel and frontal hips pull in. Pull the chin back, find the double chin action, supporting the neck, supporting the head. There you have it. Good luck. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope this helps. I'll see you next time.